So Discipleship Explored is an eight week journey into Philippians. Uh, it's a DVD based resource. Um, it's very simple, easy to use, plug and play. It enables people to get into the heart of what Paul is saying in his letter to the Philippians, which is just the perfect letter to be reading, whether you've been a disciple for just a few days or for many, many years. The format is the same every week. Um, People who've run evangelistic courses of one kind or another will be very familiar with the format. So you arrive, you have a short discussion, then there's a DVD, and then there's another short discussion, and that's it. Um, people just get into um, Paul's letter to the Philippians as they do that, and the format is so simple that anyone can use it. It's also very, very flexible. Um, one of the great things about Discipleship Explored is that you can use it one-to-one, -one, or you can use it in small groups. In fact, I've heard of people taking their whole churches through Discipleship Explored, so they can do that as well. The overwhelming thrust of the New Testament tells us that when we do discipleship, it's not just for ministers or pastors or elders, it's actually for everybody in the church. So the whole congregation should be doing the work of discipleship. Not only that, but discipleship actually is all about the gospel. We sometimes think about the gospel as being something that tips us into the Christian life and then discipleship is something we do afterwards. But actually the New Testament says again and again that the gospel is not only what, what gets us into the Christian life, but it takes us through not only justification, but sanctification, glorification, right to the moment where we see the Lord Jesus face to face. So Discipleship Explored every week contains the gospel, explains the gospel really clearly and hopefully in a way that people can really relate to and which will transform their Christian lives. William Wilberforce, in his book, A Practical View of Christianity, uh, wrote just in the first uh, few chapters there, he explains that actually one of the big issues with the church is that as people come into the Christian life, they tend to think about what they're giving up rather than what they gain. Um, he also talks about growth in the Christian church as being problematic. He talks about an issue which is still relevant 300 years later, and that is that there is a widespread numerical growth but actually that growth is very, very shallow. It's something that John Stott picked up uh, several years ago in an interview with Christianity Today where he said very specifically that um, although growth numerically may be wide, wide as the ocean, actually, if you look at it more closely, it's puddle deep. And so Discipleship Explored is really just a way of trying to um, inject some depth into our local churches so that people's relationship with Christ is deep. It's not shallow, but it's profound, it's satisfying, um, it fills people with joy and contentment, and that's, that's why we've, um, we've developed this course. One of the things that struck me about Philippians is that it's a wonderful preparation for suffering. Here's Paul, who is chained um, in under house arrest in Rome, and he's writing to a church who, in various ways, are facing pressures from outside and also from inside. And he's saying to them that no matter what your circumstances are, you can be joyful. So I think this is a letter whose time has come. I think as culturally, in this decade and beyond, we're gonna face more and more pressure as Christians, more and more suffering. And I think it's great to get those defenses in place um, before it hits. Um, Don Carson says at the beginning of his book, How Long, O Lord, which is all about suffering, he says it's no use waiting until the storm hits to try and put the storm defences in place because we just won't be able to do it. We have to put them in place before the suffering comes. And Philippians is a wonderful way of doing that. Probably my favourite verse in Philippians is Philippians 1 verse 29 where Paul says it's been granted to you not only to believe on Christ but also to suffer for him as well. It's a remarkable thing because there's those two things, suffering but also belief in Christ. We think of belief in Christ as a great thing, a wonderful thing, but suffering in Christ, not so much. And I think most of us, certainly in the Western church, we, we try and um, distance ourselves from suffering, we try and push it away, we're, we're slightly afraid of it. 
And what's remarkable about Philippians is that Paul says that our joy as Christians is actually bound up in some way with our suffering. I don't want to give the game away completely, but it's basically bound up with the secret of contentment and it is connected with suffering. And it's a real shock when you read it, but actually as you start to put it into practice, you begin to see your Christian life transformed. So Discipleship Explored is eight sessions and we go through the whole of Philippians chapter by chapter, really unpacking it, exploring it. It's an interactive study so people get very engaged. It's full of application and everyday um, uh, ways to use what Paul is saying. So I think people will just be thrilled as they use it.